What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. And it is that time of year again. Time to do my DVD collection for 2019. So, uh, you know, I have the brand new room. This is going to be probably my first DVD collection in this brand new room and everything. Um, I'll probably show you guys these three shelves first. Well, I'll show you guys the top stuff. And then probably these three shelves, and then uh, that'll be it for part one here. And then I'll do part two uh, with the other three shelves on the other side of the room. So without further ado, we'll get started with the uh, top shelf here. So I'll just go up here. And uh, of course I will switch to the other side of the room as well, just to kind of get that top stuff over and done with. But uh, up here we have the Lord of the Rings, the Motion Picture Trilogy. Uh, that is all three of the Lord of the Rings special edition, uh, I guess, versions of the movie there. Uh, then we have the notebook that is the uh, limited edition. It has just a whole bunch of stuff in it, and it's a really cool set. And got that brand new factory sealed, so, uh, you know, really, really nice set there. And, of course, we have the Bruce Lee, the Master Collection. Uh, it has pretty much all his movies on there, with the exception of Enter the Dragon, because that is a Warner Brothers movie, so that is that. Uh, then we have the, uh, what is that, Die Hard The Ultimate Collection. It's got a really nice and shiny case, and that has all three Die Hard movies to uh, that time when the DVDs were released. It's got all three of them on there. Of course, there's been, like, two more, but uh, that is The Ultimate Collection. It's just a whole big, huge, like, two-disc set, and uh, it's really nice. I really like that. And then we have, this actually used to be on one of my shelves, the Master and Commander, the Far Side of the World Collector's Edition. It's got a really nice kind of map feeling uh, case, and, you know, it's just kind of just a regular Collector's Edition, but I just thought it was really nice, so I just decided to put it up there. And then we have the Collector's Edition of Casino Royale. That's really cool. It comes in a really cool case and everything. It's got, like, three discs in it. And then we have the Batman Motion Picture Anthology from 1989 to 1997. Uh, it's got everything from Batman to Batman and Robin. Uh, then we have the Omen Collection. These two I actually did unboxings on on my channel. Uh, the Omen Collection that has all four Omen movies, including the three, or the, no, sorry, the five Omen movies, because I forgot that there was a TV movie. Um, that has, yeah, all four of the original ones and then the remake. And then we have the Alien Anthology up here that comes with all four Alien movies. Of course, there's been two more as well, but those are more like kind of the Prometheus ones in that. But, uh, yeah, that comes with the four movies and then two discs of bonus features. Then we have the Hot Fuzz three-disc collector's edition that has three discs as well. And it also includes an exclusive commentary with uh, Edgar Wright and Tarantino as well that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, then we have the Uncut Collector's Edition of Saw 5 with the spinning saw blade. If you press that button there, then it spins its saw blade. Uh, then we have the Deluxe Edition of Snatch. I ha also have that on Superbad. You'll see that in Part 2. But uh, there's that. It comes with a kind of like a poker set. Uh, then we have the Sleepaway Camp Survival Kit that comes with all four Sleepaway Camp movies. That is also the recalled version as well with the uh, Red Cross design that they do not get the rights to use. So there is that. Uh, really happy to have that as well. It's worth a lot of money. Uh, then we have the Ultimate Scream Collection. That includes all three Scream movies to the point when the set was released. There's been one more Scream movie. And uh, there's that. It also comes with the Disco Bonus features as well. And then the one last thing I have on my shelf here is the Adventures of Indiana Jones set. Uh, for this side of the room that comes with all three Indiana Jones movies to the point when the set was released. Uh, of course, there's been one more Indiana Jones movie, and they're also planning, I believe, to release a fifth one as well, um, if that ever actually comes out, but uh, there is The Adventures of Indiana Jones, so now let's, and it also comes with the disc of bonus material as well, so now let's go to the other side of the room, and I'll show you guys what else I have on my top shelf. Okay, so this is the other side of the room here, so I thought I'd just, like I said, get these out of the way here. Uh, we have the Pearl Harbor, the director's cut, that's, I believe, four discs of uh, material there. And comes with a lot of other neat stuff as well, because the movie comes on two discs, and then there's two discs of special features. Uh, then we have the Reservoir Dogs Dairy Can set, that just comes in like a little cardboard kind of sleeve. And with the, uh, the metal Jerry Can right there. 
Then we have the Sin City uh, kind of, uh, uh, recut and extended version uh, that comes with both versions of the movie, the theatrical and the extended cut that's about two and a half hours. And uh, it also comes with a copy of one of the first stories in the movie in comic book form. Then we have the Saving Private Ryan 60th Anniversary Commemorative Edition that's only just like a two-disc set. It's nothing really special, but I kind of just thought I'd put it up there because I do have it on 4K as well. Uh, then we have the Fista series of The Sixth Sense that is on, uh, I can't remember how many discs that one has. I think maybe about three or four, but uh, I have that. The Director's Cut of Hellboy, which comes with like three discs. The Apocalypse Now Full Disclosure, three disc set. The three disc collector's edition of The Wizard of Oz. Uh, one of my only Criterions on my collection, I have The Last Emperor, that's about a four disc set I believe. Um, then we have uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, that is the Ultimate Edition right there. Uh, that comes with, I think, all three cuts of the movie. Then we have the Collector's Edition of The Thing. I just thought that was a really cool box art, so I thought I'd just put that up there. And then we have Kingdom of Heaven, the four-disc director's cut, which I believe the movie comes on two discs, and then there's two discs of special features. The uh, Mars 10 of Total Recall. The 50th Anniversary Collection of the Ten Commandments. The Special Edition Unrated Director's Cut of Basic Instinct with the Ice Pick Pen. Uh, the Karate Kid uh, 4 film feature set thing. Uh, I probably should have that in my miscellaneous collection because it is a multi-feature set, but I just thought I'd put it up there. Then that's actually a TV show, but I have the Roots Complete Collection and the Forbidden Planet uh, Ultimate Collector's Edition that comes with a lot of cool stuff. So... That is all the stuff on the top shelf, so now let's get started with the actual shelves. Alright guys, now time to get started on the actual shelves here. So like I said, these first three shelves are going to consist of part one, and then the other three shelves are going to be part two. So I'll kind of go through all kind of my, like my stuff that I have on the shelves here first, and then we'll... Uh, get started with the movies, or I guess I can do that on every shelf, but right here I have my uh, Deadpool 2 uh, popcorn kind of head thing. Uh, just, if you lift that, then you can put anything inside there, put popcorn in there when I went to go see Deadpool 2, but uh, yeah, anyway though, I kind of like having that there, because it kind of just fills this gap here, but if I do, I guess, put away more movies, then I can, uh, you know move that somewhere else but anyway though guys i'll probably just point at uh the ones instead of pulling them all out and everything but uh, i'll probably pull some out if there's anything worth talking about but i'll just go one by one here and uh, we'll see what or you guys will see what i have in my collection so i have uh 2001 a space odyssey and its sequel 2010 the year we make contact uh 3000 miles to graceland 20,000 leagues under the sea the special edition uh, eight Heads in the Duffel Bag, Eight Seconds, uh, Ten Things I Hate About You, the 10th Anniversary Edition, that is a great movie, uh, Twelve Years a Slave, uh, Fifteen Minutes, this is like some kind of really weird, like, bootleg kind of thing, even though it's not really a bootleg, but uh, I have a couple of these in my collection, that is 18 again, uh, 28 Days Later, and its sequel, 28 Weeks Later, uh, 30 Days of Night, The 36th Chamber of Shaolin, uh, 1408, the two-disc collector's edition. Maybe I will kind of do this. Uh, 48 hours. Uh, 101 Dalmatians, the platinum edition. Uh, 310 to Yuma. Pi. It's a pretty, uh, pretty good movie. Uh, the Sixth Day. Eight Mile. This is a great movie. If you guys have not seen that yet, I'd recommend watching that. That is a great movie. Uh, 12 Angry Men. 12 Monkeys. American Flyers. And uh, this is actually in a blockbuster case, but that is the movie Accepted, starring Jonah Hill, I believe. Uh, then we have Altered States. Uh, Annabelle Creation actually have all these Conjuring ones on DVD instead of Blu-ray. They're just cheaper to get. This one I bought at Walmart during Boxing Day. Um, it was only like 8 bucks, I believe, which is way cheaper than the Blu-ray and actually easier to find than the Blu-ray. Uh, we have some of these library ones in my collection as well, which I bought from when my library has like libra like sales and everything for just to kind of get rid of stock. But I have Arrival, that's one of them. Uh, a League of Their Own. 
Aliens vs. or Alien vs. Predator, the unrated edition that comes with both versions of the movie. Um, and then Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. This only comes with the unrated cut. Uh, then we have Arlington Road, April Fool's Day, Absolute Power, AI Artificial Intelligence, Ali. And then if we move down here, I actually have the uh, Major League Wild Thing Edition that has like the AstroTurf on here. And then I also have some of these kind of like Star Trek ships as well. I'm not really uh, not really sure what this ship is, but you know, I, I can't really get that back on there. It's filming here, but uh, then we go down here. We have the Andromeda Strain, an American Werewolf in London, and its sequel, American Werewolf in Paris. Uh, Another Day in Paradise, which comes with the theatrical and the director's cut. Uh, All the President's Men, Anatomy of a Murder, Monty Python's enough for something completely different. Uh, Any Given Sunday. Which I believe is the special edition director's cut. I think this is the only version of the movie that's actually released on home media. The theatrical cut, I think they might have released on the Blu-ray, but the director's cut is, I think, like five minutes shorter. So it's like two and a half hours or two hours and 57 minutes. Uh, Then we have Apocalypto, which I believe is still out of print. Uh, I probably should try and find the Blu-ray of that one. Uh, Along Came a Spider. About a Boy. Above the Law, Action Jackson, Adventures in Babysitting, Alive, the 30th Anniversary Edition, uh, The Abyss Special Edition, Air Force One, East Ventura Pet Detective, I still have yet to find um, When Nature Calls, that one I believe is out of print, Uh, The Adventures of Ford Fairlane, Arthur, After the Sunset, Almost Famous, this is the Director's Edition, which comes with something called the Bootleg Cut, which is like 2 hours and 40 minutes or something like that. Uh, Apt Pupil, American Ninja, and one of its sequels, American Ninja 4, The Annihilation, so I'll have yet to get 2 and 3. Now we have some of the Amityville Horror ones, they've made like a million of these, but this is the original one. Uh, Then we have the Amityville... The Amityville 2, The Possession, Amityville 3D, and then the uh, remake with Ryan Reynolds and Michael Bay produced. Then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, Amadeus, the theatrical cut, and then the director's cut, which is a two disc special edition. Uh, the American President, Annie Hall. Apollo 13, this one actually comes with both the theatrical and the IMAX versions, which is really cool, because this is actually the very first movie that was released to IMAX theaters, like, first movie. Then we have Analyze This, and Analyze That, Arachnophobia, Adaptation, Anchorman, I have Anchorman 2 on Blu-ray, Airheads, Airplane, and then Airplane 2, the sequel. Then we have uh, Army of Darkness here, this being the Boomstick Edition, or the Bruce Campbell vs. Army of Darkness. Uh, you know, all the Evil Deads are fantastic movies. Even the TV show is really great as well. Assa- <clears throat> Assassins. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. And the sequel is The Spy Who Shagged Me. And Goldmember. Then we have Avatar, the Extended Collector's Edition, and Game just recently passed that, which is a really great achievement, great news as well. And then for this shelf, we have the Aviator. So that is it for uh, this one shelf here, and we'll just move all this stuff. And uh, we'll go down here now. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier if I just say the, the names of all this stuff. But down here we have Armageddon. Assault on Precinct 13, The Alamo, uh, The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford, As Good as It Gets, Awakenings, Annie. We have another library one here, Atomic Blonde. Uh, There's another 48 Hours, like I showed above, I did have the first 48 Hours, but this is another 48 Hours, just kind of with uh, the A's here. Uh, Aspen Extreme. Now we go on to B's now, we have Bachelor Party, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Beaches, a special edition, A Bronx Tale, Blown Away, Basic, 
Better Off Dead, Blazing Saddles, Brewster's Millions, uh, Basketball, Black Christmas, A Better Tomorrow, A Better Tomorrow 2, those are both like Anchor Bay movies, uh, Bridget Jones's Diary, Bridget Jones The Edge of Reason, The Best of Times, Barbershop and Barbershop 2 Back in Business, Be Kind Rewind, Battle of Britain, Born to Fight, that's one of the Dragon Dynasty ones, that's number 8. Uh, Breakdown, that is, an, uh, that is a fantastic movie. If you guys have not seen that, highly recommend watching that. It's, a, it's just a really great movie. Baby Boom, Bandits, Beavis and Butthead to America, The Beach, A Beautiful Mind, <clears throat> The Born Identity, which is the uh, original 80s miniseries, not the Matt Damon movies. Bull Durham, Bloodwork, Being John Malkovich, Blade Runner, The Director's Cut. There's like about a million cuts of that movie, but I only have the director's cut. Behind Enemy Lines, Blood Diamond, Blood Sport, The Blues Brothers, Blue Thunder, The Bridges of Madison County, and then Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is a really good movie in its own right. But uh, the thing that I put down here was actually my Money Python and the Holy Grail Collector's Edition set. This is just a really awesome set here. I actually replaced that with my... Uh, just my regular old DVD. I uh, got that at one of the, uh, I guess you could say, probably conventions I went to. But over on this shelf here, we have American Gangster, the three disc collector's edition that's kind of in a case similar to Monty Python. But there's that. And then I have one of these other little Star Trek ships as well. But if we go down here now, we have Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That's one of the collector's editions, number 28. Uh, this one right here is Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, Ride of Reanimator, A Bridge Too Far, Bullet, Beach Red, Bruce Almighty, both of the Bill and Ted movies, Excellent Adventure, and then Bogus Journey. Uh, can't wait for the Bill and Ted Face the Music as well. That might be really good, especially, you know, doing a third one, like, so so late after Bogus Journey came out, like, probably about 20 years later. Uh, the Blair Witch Project, I don't not I do not have a Book of Shadows or Book of Souls or whatever the other one is called, and then the third one's just called Blair Witch, but uh, I just had the Blair, uh, Blair, the Blair Witch Project. Then I have all three of the Blade movies. I can't wait for the new Blade with Mahershala Ali. That's gonna be really good, but yeah, Blade, uh, Blade 2, and then Blade Trinity, this being the unrated version. Then I have Broken Arrow, the, Boodoc the Boondock Saints, this being the Deluxe Collector's Edition. <clears throat> Burn After Reading, The Blind Side, The Big Hit, Big, the Extended Edition, The Butcher's Wife, The Blob, this being the 80s Blob. Beauty and the Beast, the Special Edition, and also the Special Edition of Bambi. Blue Chips, Boiler Room, Buster... Bait, Bad Boys, this is not the Michael Bay Bad Boys, this is the Sean Penn Bad Boys from like 10 years earlier. Uh, Bad Santa, Breaking In, Brain Scan, Black Dog, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, Blue Crush, The Buddy Holly Story, The Breakfast Club, The Bodyguard, The Bonfire of the Vanities, Bird, Borat, of course you gotta love Borat man, that is, that is a fantastic movie. Uh, hilarious, uh, pretty much laugh throughout the whole movie. Uh, some Elvis here, we got Blue Hawaii, Big Fish, this being the really kind of cool set with uh, that little booklet there. Born on the 4th of July, The Black Hole, Black Rain, Bananas, Breakfast of Champions, and then Biodome. And now if we move down here, this is the last of this shelf right here. We have uh, Blue Steel, Boys in the Hood. It's actually kind of a really cool set as well. The two-disc anniversary edition. You guys probably can't really pick that up well. It's a really nice shiny case, and I uh, really like that set there. Braveheart, the Special Collector's Edition. Broke Down Palace, Bubba Hotep. The Big Picture, all three Beverly Hills Cop movies. That's one, two, and three. Wonder what happened to them making number four there. I thought they, they said they were going to be doing it as a movie, then they're going to be doing it as a TV show, and then they said it's going back to a movie, and then going back to a TV show. Can't make up their minds, but I, I hope that one comes soon. Beverly Hills Cop is really great.
Uh, Blue Streak, Beyond Reanimator, I have the first one under the R's. Black Mask, Black Sheep. If you're wondering why I have two of these Back to the Future sets here, this is the Back to the Future, the complete trilogy. Just kind of got this and got rid of the other the other two Back to the Futures. It's kind of just uh, like a, a space saver. But this is the complete trilogy. It's got all three movies plus a whole bunch of bonus features, as you can tell right there. But if you're wondering why I have this and then I have this set right here, it's mostly because of this reason down here, the Back to the Future, the ride which is actually not on this set. It's pretty much like the exact same movie, like the exact same DVD and menus and everything. It's just with the two disc set, you have that Back to the Future the Ride, and that's the only reason why I have that. Because I believe they actually got rid of the Back to the Future the Ride out of all the Universal Studios theme parks. But that's pretty much why I have, that's the only reason why I have two Back to the Future sets right there. Uh, then I have the Beastmaster. Breaking Away, Black Hawk Down, this being the three disc deluxe edition. It has the movie on one disc, special features on the other, and then they actually have like a whole documentary on the third disc. Boiling Point, The Bad News Bears, The Bad News Bears Go to Japan. I do not have The Bad News Bears in Breaking Training yet. Blind Date, Back to School, Bronco Billy, Batman the Movie, this being the... Uh, the Adam West Batman, not the Michael Keaton Batman. The Commitments, this being number 15 for the Collector's Edition. Uh, City Suckers, Cloak and Dagger. I have actually a few of these like Universal Studio Selections DVDs in my collection. They're not really the best quality. Like they, like they're they're just not in very like good quality and everything. But like as you can see by the audio, there it's only like a two-channel mix and. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not really all that great DVDs, but at least you have Cloak and Dagger on DVD, though. Cyborg, uh, Casualties of War, Chicago, Cool Hand Luke, Cobb, Colors. Of course, as you can tell, we're on the seas now. Then I have another studio selections here, The Cure. This DVD really isn't that great. Yeah, as you can see, there's another mono mix right there. And this one's only in full screen, so you don't even get this in uh, <laughs> widescreen. Can't Buy Me Love, Carrie, this is kind of a neat set here, the Decades Collection 1970s. So if you open this up here, you have the movie on one disc, and then you have a CD on the other, so you have a whole bunch of 1970s music. So it's really cool. One of the last things I actually ever got at HMV before it closed, so that's kind of a neat uh, time capsule. Consenting Adults, Cheech and Chong's The Corsican Brothers, Copycat, we have another one of these library ones here we have the commuter which actually was pretty decent I didn't mind that one cops and Robertson's Caddyshack Canadian bacon crime story collateral damage and then finally for the shelf we have crocodile Dundee so that is it for the shelf so now we'll move on to the other shelf now and I'll show you guys uh, what I have on there all right guys this is the next shelf now so I'm gonna have to move a lot of stuff here because I do have my Captain America Shield and then Mjolnir, so I'm going to have to uh, move all move all this stuff down here just to show you guys what I have on the shelf. But we have Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles, Captain Ron, Cujo. This was so hard to find. I just kind of gave up and ordered it on Amazon. But yeah, this this is just super hard to find. I never find like any of these kind of like oddball Stephen, Stephen King ones anywhere. Uh, then we have Kate Fear, The Clearing, The Color of Money, Candyman. Candyman is an excellent movie. Changing Lanes, Clean and Sober, Cabin Boy, Curly Sue, Carnosaur. This is a really, really bad DVD, but, you know, it's the only kind of uh, way you can get Carnosaur on DVD. And uh, Curly Sue is out of print as well. But then we have The Conjuring, and then The Conjuring 2. Blu-rays of those are impossible to find, so I just kind of gave up and bought them on DVD. But Conjuring 2, I actually got for a pretty good deal. I only got it, I think, for like 2 bucks maybe, at Savers, because they did have some sort of sale going on when I got that. Uh, Cars, Chain Reaction, A Cry in the Dark, Car Wash, which is kind of an odd case, because this is the Good Times release, but when I open this up here, it's the actually, it's a Universal release, so that's kind of odd. 
But anyway, though, you know, who cares? But I just thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, though, Catch Me If You Can. It's one of my favorites of all time. That is, I love that movie. Closer, Chariots of Fire, Central Intelligence. This is actually a pretty fun movie. I like that one. The Curse of the Jade Scorpion, Coach Carter. Man, if you guys have not seen Coach Carter, do so. It's a fantastic movie. I really loved it. Castaway, Children of the Corn. This being the 20th, yeah, 20th anniversary Divi Max, Divi Max Special Edition. Then we have one of the sequels here, Children of the Corn Revelation. I don't know what sequel that one is. Maybe like, I don't know, the fourth one. Cat's Eye, Clash of the Titans, Christine... Cyrus, Career Opportunities, The Client, Christmas in Wonderland. Why do you have this in your collection? Well, uh, it's filmed at West Edmonton Mall. So there is that. Which, a lot of plot holes in this movie. Why would they move to Edmonton from Los Angeles? Like, why? But, <laughs> anyway though, uh, Chaplin, The City of Violence. This is another Dragon Dynasty. It's number 18. We have a four film favorites, Critters Collection, which should be in my miscellaneous, but as seeing as all the titles have the same name that or have or start with the same letter, then I just kinda left it on the shelf. But then we have some Child's Play ones, Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, City Hall, A Christmas Story, Gotta Love a Christmas Story, man. You gotta watch that every year. The Cutting Edge, A Chorus Line, Crimson Tide. Crossroads, Commando, Curse of the Pink Panther, Coming to America, and then The Crush. And I have a couple of these kind of action figures here. So we have a Spider-Man one and then a Venom one that I got at the same convention that I got at, uh, I got that Monty Python set at. Anyway, though, this is the next shelf here. We've got Con Air, Contact, Courage Under Fire, Creature from the Black Lagoon. This is... In these Walmart exclusive, really nice glow in the dark slip covers. I have a few of these in my collection. You'll see more of them soon. Uh, the Crow City of Angels, I do have the first Crow, but it's in a pile that I will show you guys at the end of this part. Clear and Present Danger, Creep Show, Creep Show 2. I do not have Creep Show 3, but I heard that one is horrible. But odd case with different studios releasing stuff. Creep Show, this is actually a Warner Brothers release. But Creepshow 2 is actually a Divi Max one, and that's from Anchor Bay, so that's why it kind of looks weird. Sorry about that, it kind of went out of focus. Cool Runnings, Cobra, Collateral, Click, Cube 2, Hypercube. I do not have the first or third Cube movies yet, I still, I'm still looking for those, I can't find Cube anywhere. Crybaby, Club Dread, Charlie Wilson's War, The Clan of the Cave Bear. This is the Conan the Franchise Collection of the Complete Quest, which has both movies on there. I do not have the Jason Momoa Conan. Then we have Cocoon and Cocoon the Return. Then we have uh, Clerks X, the 10th Anniversary Edition, which has three discs in it. And it's got the theatrical version, the first cut, and then a documentary on the third disc. And then we just have the regular Clerks 2. I don't think Kevin Smith released any sort of special edition for that one. Carbon Copy, The Call, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and then its subsequent Super Bit release. This one, this release I only have because of the special features on it. This one is just because of the better audio and picture quality. Uh, Dirty Work, Drop Dead Gorgeous, Dumbo, The Big Top Edition, The Deep, Den of Thieves, Dead Calm, Deep Impact, Daredevil, Diner, we have a double feature here, District 13 and District 13 Ultimatum. The Dirty Dozen, Dust Boat, the Director's Cut, which is about three and a half hours long. Die Another Day, Dances with Wolves, this is the collector's edition of that. Dogma, Dinosaur, uh, Disturbia, Dangerous Minds, Drumline, The Defender, and Double Team. So now if we move down here, I have this really nice kind of plaque that just says Director on it. So I'll just put that aside as well as my Ron Burgundy bobblehead. You guys always see that in my videos. But anyway though, down here, we have Dominion, the prequel to The Exorcist, The Day the Earth Stood Still, Don't Tell Mom the <clears throat> Excuse me, oh. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, that one is out of print, Donnie Darko, Double Jeopardy, Desperate Measures, Disorganized Crime, Drag Me to Hell, that is a great movie if you guys have not seen that. 
And if you like horror movies, be sure to check that out. That is a fantastic movie. Death Sentence, uh, Death to Smoochie, Dog Day Afternoon, Deja Vu, Dr. No, Deep Cover, Dazed and Confused, The Descent, The Da Vinci Code, Deliverance, Demolition Man, Dr. Zhivago, Daylight, Dolores Claiborne, uh, Downfall, Dawn of the Dead, and Land of the Dead. This is a really kind of neat little double feature set. The Devil's Own, Desperately Seeking Susan, Demon Knight, or Tales from the Crypt Presents Demon Knight, uh, Dick Tracy, The Day After, Dirty Dancing, The Ultimate Edition, uh, Double Indemnity, the Universal Legacy series release, Dracula, this is another Super Bit release. I should probably do another Super Bit collection soon. I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys really like watching that one. Death Warrant, Hollywood, or not Hollywood, sorry, Doc Hollywood. Death Hunt, Draft Day, Double Impact, Drop Zone, The Distinguished Gentleman, Disturbing Behavior, Death Trap, another collector series here. This is the Day After Tomorrow All Access Collector's Edition. This is number 19. Then we have Dune. I believe they're doing one next year, a remake. Dark City, Dracula 2000, Dreamcatcher, Dead Poet Society, Down With Love, and then finally Darkman on that shelf. And then down here, we just have a little bit more to go here. We have Detroit Rock City, Drunken Master, Dave, Dracula. This being another one of those Walmart exclusive slip covers here. Those are really nice. I really like those. Then we have Dumb and Dumber, the unrated version. Don't Say a Word, Dragon Slayer, Easy A, Eddie the Eagle. That is a fantastic movie as well. If you guys have not seen that, I highly recommend you do. That is such a really great feel-good kind of movie. And uh, Taron Edgerton and Hugh Jackman do a really great job in that one as well. I See You, kind of an overlooked Sylvester Stallone one, kind of. Not many people know that one exists, I think, but it does exist. Event Horizon, Eating Raul. That is another library one, but I did not pick it up at a sale, though I picked it up at the reuse. It was a whole box of movies. Envy, Elf, The Edge, and Empress and the Warriors. This is another Dragon Dynasty, number 37. Extreme Measures, Eddie and the Cruisers, Encino Man, <clears throat> Empire Records, Enemy of the State. All three Exorcist movies here. I do not have Exorcist or Exorcist the Beginning or something, which is literally the exact same movie as Dominion prequel to The Exorcist. But you know, I have the version you never seen of The Exorcist, the Heretic or to the Heretic, and then Exorcist three. And then I have all four Ernest movies here. All four like official Ernest movies because they're released by Touchstone. But uh, Goes to Camp, Saves Christmas, Goes to Jail, and Scared Stupid in release order. Exit Wounds, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, which is currently the uh, the only Best Picture winner to be rated Rotten on Rotten Tomatoes, as well as being, I believe, the, the lowest rated Best Picture nominee. And uh, the ones that are immediately preceding it are uh, Out of Africa, and then actually, surprisingly enough, Bohemian Rhapsody. Empire of the Sun, Eraser, The Entity, Edward Scissorhands, Eight Men Out, the 20th Anniversary Edition, El Mariachi, Enter the Dragon, Escape from New York, Escape from L.A., Evolution, Eagle Eye, Eye of the Needle, Enemy at the Gates, Excalibur, Executive Decision, The Fan, Fanboys, and Fierce Creatures. And then this is the last shelf down here. So we have another one of those library ones with... The Founder, about the, I guess, you know, The Founder of McDonald's, which is a really good movie as well. Michael Keaton does a really great performance. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, For Love of the Game, First Kid, Force 10 from Navarone, Fame, Fatal Instinct, The Foreigner, which is another one of those library ones, Forever Young, Falling Down, Fandango, Foxy Brown, Firefox, Full Metal Jacket, Frequency, Father of the Bride and then Father of the Bride Part 2, Firewall, all four Fast and Furious movies. But uh, of course they made like a million more, but I have all those ones on Blu-ray. <clears throat> We've got the original one, Too Fast, Too Furious, Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift, and then Fast and Furious. 
Footloose and the 2011 remake, Father's Day, The Flamingo Kid, Fist Fight, Funny Face, Fearless, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, A Few Good Men, Fargo, Fight Club, Fire Down Below, the four film favorites, Final Destination Collection, which includes all four films to the release of that set. Of course, there was one more after that. Free Jack, Frankenstein, this is another one of those kind of glow-in-the-dark slip covers, and then the one that came out with it was The Firm. For Your Eyes Only, the two-movie collection of Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. Following, Freedom Land, The Falcon and the Snowman. Fall in, The Fly, and The Fly 2. The First Deadly Sin, First Night, Finding Nemo, and then finally Flatliners on this one. So that's going to do it for this shelf, so now we'll go on to the last shelf for this video. And I'll show you guys a little pile more of, of like more stuff, so let's go on to the other shelf. Alright, so this will be the last shelf of this video here, and then I'll show you guys that little pile of stuff, and then that's going to do it for part one. But anyway though, I'll show you guys what I have on the shelf first. So I have a couple of these Diet Pepsi cans, which might be kind of weird to you guys. But I really like the design of these because they have like one with Michael Jackson and then they have one with Ray Charles, Charles right here. Those are really kind of cool, so I just kind of decided to keep those. They did that last year. But anyway though, we'll take a look at what we have here. So we have the French Connection, this being another collector's edition number 24. Sorry about that, I just dropped an action figure. A Fish Called Wanda, A Fistful of Dollars, and for a few dollars more, Freddy vs. Jason. Then we have some Friday the 13th ones here. We have the four movie collection with the first four in it. And yes, part three is in 3D as well. They have a double feature of part five and part six, Jason Lives. Jason Lives is probably one of my favorite horror movies and my favorite Friday the 13th. And then double feature, we have, or another one, we have part seven and part eight. Part eight being the worst one out of all of them. Four Rooms, Friday, and then Friday After Next. I do have Next Friday, which is under my ends. Uh, Four Christmases, The Five Heartbeats, The Fault in Our Stars, fantastic movie. Friday Night Lights, Face Off. Face Off, probably one of my favorite kind of cheesy action movies and everything. That is a really just kind of good corny fun. Flashdance, Formula 51, The Fugitive, Fist, The Frighteners, Fright Night, Gladiator, Ghost Ship, G.I. Jane, Good Burger. You know, that's kind of had a popularity surge recently. Graveyard Shift, Glengarry Glen Ross, Ghost, Guilty by Suspicion, The Great Escape, Goldeneye, The Great White Hype, The Great Outdoors, Get Shorty, The Gauntlet, Gangs in New York, Grand Canyon, The Getaway, Grand Torino, Gattaca, Get Carter, Gorky Park, Goldfinger, The Ghost in the Darkness, The Game, Gung Ho, and then Graffiti Bridge, which is one of the Prince movies. If you're wondering what I dropped here, I have my Thor action figure, which is actually kind of cool. I really like that. And then I have my Iron Man figure here, so that is super cool. And then over on this shelf here, we have Grumpy Old Man, and then we have Grumpy Your Old Man. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, so we kind of finished off the Dollars trilogy here. Glory, the Godfather 3 movie collection, which comes with all three movies. The Gods Must Be Crazy 1 and 2, which comes with both of those. Groundhog Day, Gone Fishing, Gettysburg, and then its sequel, Gods and Generals, will kind of, sort of, not really sequel. Goodfellas, Gunfight at the OK Corral, Go uh, Going in Style, Great Balls of Fire, Grandma's Boy, Good Morning Vietnam, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Gossip, The Goonies, Goal the Dream Begins, The General's Daughter, Gone in 60 Seconds, this being the, not the 70s one, but the 2000s one with Nicolas Cage. We have Grease, the Rock and Rydell edition. Still probably need to find Grease 2 for cheap. The Green Mile, Goodwill Hunting, Gosford Park, Good Luck Chuck, the, uh, Our Hard Day's Night with the Beatles, of course, Hatchet, the unrated version, Heartbreak Hotel, Hard Boiled, of course you gotta have Hard Boiled in your collection, Dragon Dynasty number 15, Highlander, Horrible Bosses, and then Horrible Bosses 2. Happy Birthday to Me. Halloween, the first one, of course. One of my favorites of all time. My favorite horror movie as well. Halloween 4, Halloween 5, Halloween The Chris and Michael Myers, Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, and then Halloween The Director's Cut, or the Rob Zombie version. 
I'm wondering why I don't have two and three on here is because I have those on Blu-ray. House of Flying Daggers, The Hustler, The Hunger, How to Marry a Millionaire, Home Alone, Home Alone 2, and then another version of Hellboy, which is the theatrical cut. And if we move down here, we have Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, High Plains Drifter, Hudson Hawk, Hobo with a Shotgun, Rest in Peace, Rucker Howard, that is a great kind of cornball movie. The Hills Have Eyes, the original Wes Craven version, and then the remake, and then the remake sequel, which both are actually the unrated cuts, as well as that one as well. House Party and House Party 2, I do not have the other two that were released to DVD. Haywire, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle, the Extreme Edition, The Hateful Eight, which is another one of those library ones. Hotel Rwanda, The Heartbreak Kid, Hulk. Hackers, Hearts War, The Hangover, Homegrown, Hero, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man, The Hunt for Red October, Hellraiser, Hellraiser Bloodline, Hellraiser Hellseeker, I still need to get all of those, Hannibal, Hard to Kill, Heat, The, the Howling, The Haunting, Hamburger Hill, uh, a double feature there of Hot Shots and Hot Shots Part 2. Happy Gilmore, House Guest, How I Got Into College, Heavyweights, Hoosiers, Hard Rain, Harry and the Hendersons, Hollywood Ending, House Arrest, Heartbreak Ridge, The Hurricane, House on Haunted Hill, The Hard Way, and then starting with the three Harry Potter movies, we have The Philosopher's Stone, or The Sorcerer's Stone if you're in the States, The Chamber of Secrets, The Prisoner of Azkaban, and then if we move down here, we have The Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows Part 1. Still need to get probably at least this one on Blu-ray, but I'm still holding out for the 3D version of that one. And, uh, yeah, there, those are, that's those ones. How the West Was Won, The Hurt Locker, Honeymoon in Vegas, In the Army Now, In Dreams, Insomnia, I, Robot, Independence Day. Of course, this being the five-star collection. I love that movie. I Spy, It Follows, Identity Thief, It's a Wonderful Life. This actually coming with two discs here. <clears throat> it actually comes with the color version as well. So, never seen black and white movies do that before. Not a lot of them, actually. The Insider, In the Heat of the Night, Idle Hands, The Invisible Man. And uh, all three Infernal Affairs movies, which inspired the Martin Scorsese movie, The Departed. The Iron Fisted Monk, Interview with the Vampire, The Italian Job, and actually with Interview with the Vampire, it's not Interview with a Vampire, it's Interview with the Vampire. So just remember that if you're talking about Interview with the Vampire, it's the, not a. The Italian Job, Iron Eagle, In and Out, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, this being the 70s version, Invincible, The Impossible, Intolerable Cruelty, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, In the Line of Fire, It, It Could Happen to You, this It being the miniseries version, not of course the 2017 remake, I have that on Blu-ray, The Incredibles, I have Incredibles 2 on Blu-ray, The Island, I'm Gonna Get You Sucka, John Q, Junior, Johnny Dangerously, JFK, Jerry Maguire, the Jackal, Joe Kid, Jumpin' Jack Flash, and Jawbreaker. And now the last shelf for part one. So we have Jeepers Creepers, Jeepers Creepers 2, all three Jurassic Park movies. I do have Jurassic Park on Blu right now, and but not The Lost World or 3. Actually, I don't really care about 3 anyways. Uh, Joyride, and then, well, Joyride. This Joyride being a 70s movie about some kind of road trip or something like that. And this Joyride being the thriller from the early 2000s. That is a great movie about a trucker stalking a group of teens. Just one of the guys. The Jerk. The, oddly enough, the 26th anniversary edition. Uh, Jailhouse Rock. So we have some more good old Elvis here. Joe's Apartment. The Jewel of the Nile. The special edition. Jaws. This is the... Uh, what is this? The 30th Anniversary Edition. It comes with a two-disc set, plus a little booklet as well. So that's a really kind of cool thing there. <clears throat> we have to round off the Friday the 13th ones here. So we have Jason Goes to Hell, and then Jason X. 
Jason Goes to Hell is probably one of the worst ones out of all of them. Jason X is kind of good corny fun. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. It's good corny fun, like I said. You know, who doesn't want to see Jason in space? Jacob's Ladder, Juwan, this is the Japanese grudge. Just Married, Judge Dredd, Jackie Chan's First Strike, Juno, Joe vs. the Volcano, Judgment Night, Julie and Julia. Why do we even have that? The Journey of Natty Gan, Kiss of the Dragon, K-19 the Widowmaker, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Keeping the Faith, King Arthur, this being the extended unrated version. Uh, King Kong, King Kong Lives, and then we have King Kong, the 2005 version, the Deluxe Extended Edition. Uh, Kick-Ass, I should probably get Kick-Ass 2 soon. Knocked Up, Killer Elite, Kelly's Heroes, Koyanis Kotze, King Ralph, Kung Pao, Enter the Fist, Kindergarten Cop, Kingpin, Kiss the Girls, Kill Zone. This is actually the first Dragon Dynasty release. Layer Cake, Leon the Professional, this is, I believe, another Super Bit release. Yeah, it's a Super Bit release. Letters from Iwo Jima, and then finally for the shelf, Life Stinks. So, that's going to do it for the shelf, so now I'll show you guys the one pile of stuff that I have, and then that'll, that'll do it for part one. So, let's show you that pile right now. And here it is, guys, that one last pile of stuff, so I'll just show you guys all of this stuff right now. So we have Starman, Dante's Peak, some of the stuff I already showed to you guys anyways, but Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, Rock and Rolla, Push, Defiance, some of these, these next few I got a good well for a buck, I Love You Man, About Time, Witchboard, that's actually rare and out of print, and it does come with like a little... Ouija board as well, so I I figure that's probably one of the coolest Anchor Bay titles. Norma Ray, Annabelle, this being the first one. Uh, Clue, this one actually, it had a gimmick when it was released back in the 80s that if you went to a different theater, you'd actually get a different ending, but maybe some of the theaters had the same ending. But on this one, they actually included the all three endings to this one, so you can either watch the movie and get one of the endings or you can watch the movie and get all of the endings so i figured that's really cool of paramount to do that actually i really like that but there's that i thought i'd just tell you guys about that uh tequila sunrise the dead zone hamlet which is rare and out of print the last exorcism searching that is a fantastic movie wish i probably could have got this one on uh blu-ray but you know, DVD will do, I guess. Ride Along and Ride Along 2. I enjoyed these ones, actually. I know a lot of people don't, but I kind of enjoyed them. The Hangover Part 3. Problem Child, The Tantrum Pack. I'll just move this out a little bit more. See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Top Secret. Pleasantville. Zero Dark Thirty. Deep Blue Sea. The Crow, which is the Alliance Atlantis Collector Series, or if you're in the States, the Dimension Films Collector Series. The Changeling, Vacancy, Something Wicked This Way Comes, The Revenant, Prisoners, Best Defense, The Jungle Book, the 2016 version, Mr. Mom, Multiplicity, uh, Ghost of Mars, Observe and Report, Night uh, Nightbreed, Paul Blart Mall Cop, and finally, Inside Man. So that's going to do it for part one. So stay tuned for part two now. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will also be down below in the description of this video as well. Also, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos, a new video every Tuesday and Friday. So anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.